Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be updating your Mac. So let's just go on the top left hand side of your screen. You will see the Apple logo. So here's the Apple logo. We're going to go into System Preferences. That's our second option. Before we go there, I just want to show you with older Mac OS's, you do have to go into the App Store in order to do all the updates. Right now, if you're almost up to date, then you would go into System Preferences. So let's just go right into there. Once we click on System Preferences, you will see Software Update, which is our third option down here below. So here on the left, we will see Software Update. Let's just click on there. And we're going to get this window. Let's just click on More Info. And we can see that it's 2.97 gigs. For most of you, this will only take a couple minutes. However, if you have really slow internet, sure, this could take a long time, 30, even an hour, depending how slow your internet is and it does require a restart. However, right now, before you guys go on and install this update, you can see it will turn off, it's gonna do its thing. We're just gonna close this. I wanna show you that you should do a backup of your computer. So the backup can be done using Time Machine. Up here, I have my Time Machine running. It's cleaning up right now, so I'm just gonna open Time Machine. And right here, you guys can see that I already made my backup today, and it's making my second backup. This is a program that's already installed on all Macs. No matter which year Mac you guys have, you have Time Machine. So if you guys purchase already an external hard drive, make that backup there. Of course, that's only if you care about your information in your Mac. If you don't really care, no need to backup anything. I want to mention that I do have a separate video showing you guys how to set up Time Machine and everything about it. At this point, I'm just going to go back. And right here, I'm going to click on More Info again. And we can see Install Now. Or, without seeing that, you guys can go ahead and just press on Update Now. During the installation process, we will see an Apple logo and a loading bar. And that's going to happen for about 30 minutes. It does depend on your Mac. It does depend on your Wi-Fi speed. Yes, it does depend on that, how fast it's actually installing. But for most of you, it's not going to take more than 30 minutes. It might take an hour or two for older Macs, sure. And that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.